guitars including this uh, Gibson style Les Paul custom style plywood bolt-on Chinese copy import thing that I picked up for five pounds uh, with a warped neck um, in a terrible way um, it's had loads of work done shimming all sorts of um, a new nut uh, a new bridge from Goto a big speed tremolo added uh, iron gear pickups, all of these things sourced um, through um, Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree and eBay and um, bargains really, um, including these uh, Gibson Shala tuners, the old vintage style that I like, golden green. And um, it feels like a genuine Les Paul custom to me. I mean, I've played one from 1957 and it was pretty bad, but uh, <laughs> this one is kind of, it's, a, it's on a similar kind of um, page, I would say, because there are still some issues. Um, there's still some buzzing around here. Um, there was, there's been some warping that's happened here from a previous shim, and um, I've still got to sort a few bits out, but it's playing and sounding great. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> everything um, open so the pickups all uh, that was a little bit of tone rolled off on the neck pickup that's it let's hear the neck on its own <laughs> So it sounds great to me. Uh, whether it's worth it or not, it's up to you. I put about four hundred pounds in parts, maybe maybe more. Um, CTS parts, um, quality wiring done by Jono, who works with us here. Uh, painted fretboard, so the light round rosewood has become like ebonized. Uh, lots of fretwork, but still a little bit more to do, admittedly. Um, it's very, it was a very warped and twisted neck. Um, really nice relic job. You can see some like faux lacquer checking and stuff on the poly finish. Uh, I didn't refinish it. I could have obviously done like a full nitro refinish, but I've aged it all. Um, yellow binding, um, sanded back neck, which actually revealed some kind of strange um, uh, maple figuring in it. So maple neck, plywood body, a lot like the uh, 
Korean and Chinese import guitars in the 80s. Here's the bridge, it sounds really great actually, the bridge. Goto Bridge, Bixby Tremolo, the works basically. And um, let me know in the comments what you think. Was it worth it? Is it cool enough? Um, what would you pay for a guitar like this? Would you lose money? Would you make money? Um, it's I did it, you know, it's got hand painting and all that kind of stuff, so that might add value. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's what I wanted in a custom pretty much. It's got loads of mojo and I've wrote, written a couple of songs. So sorry the video is quite long if you stuck with it, I appreciate it and uh, peace, it's good to be back in London after I had a short holiday, uh, email me with all your questions and anything that you want to know as ever, uh, I'll do my best to like give you friendly helpful advice, peace.